we now discuss the solution of a problem that appeared in the joint entrance examination main held on 25th june 2022 in the first shift this question is from the integral calculus and it is the it is to evaluate a given definite integral the given question is the value of integral 0 to pi e power cos x multiplied by sin x by in the denominator 1 plus cos square x multiplied by e power cos x plus e power minus cos x with respect to x is equal to we are given four options option a pi square by 4 option b pi square by 2 option c pi by 4 option d pi by 2 that is the given integral to be evaluated right we now discuss the solution of the problem in detail let i be the definite integral 0 to pi e power cos x sin x by in the denominator 1 plus cos square x multiplied by e power cos x plus e power minus cos x with respect to x let's call this integral as the equation 1 this is written as this is equal to integral 0 to pi f of x dx where f of x is e power cos x into sin x by 1 plus cos square x into e power cos x plus e power minus cos x right now i is equal to integral 0 to pi f of x dx we use the king's property namely integral a to b f of x dx is equal to integral a to b f of a plus b minus x dx that is equal to here a is 0 b is pi right so that is equal to integral 0 to pi f of 0 plus pi minus x dx that is equal to integral 0 to pi f of pi minus x with respect to x so wherever there is x substitute pi minus x in f of x that is equal to integral 0 to pi e to the power of cos of x in the place of x pi minus x sin pi minus x whole by 1 plus cos of pi minus x whole square multiplied by e power cos of pi minus x plus e power minus cos of pi minus x Uh, cos of pi minus x is minus cos x sin of pi minus x is sin x and uh, substituting in this integral we get this is integral 0 to pi e power minus cos x sin x in the denominator 1 plus minus cos x whole square that is cos square x into e power minus cos x plus e power cos x with respect to x let's call this integral as 2 and uh, we notice the denominator is same in the integral 1 and integral 2 now add these two add this two so adding 1 and 2 on the left hand side i plus i 2i is equal to is equal to integral 0 to pi e power cos x plus e power minus cos x whole into sin x the denominator is same 1 plus cos square x into e power cos x plus e power minus cos x dx and uh, we see this factor e power cos x plus e power minus cos x appears both in the numerator and the denominator cancel this then you get integral 0 to pi sin a sin x by in the denominator 1 plus cos square x dx that is equal to 2i we continue 
the discussion in the next slide. So that's what we have done so far. 2i is equal to integral 0 to pi sin x by 1 plus cos square x dx. Agreed. Now we recall a property of the definite integrals. Integral 0 to 2a f of x dx is equal to 2 times integral 0 to a f of x dx if f of 2a minus x is equal to f of x. So here in the place of 2a we have pi we have pi. So we see sin of pi minus x is a sin x only and 1 plus cos of pi minus x whole square of course it is minus cos x but whole square is there plus cos square x. So it remains the same. So therefore you will get a 2 times integral 0 to half of the upper limit that is pi by 2. So that is equal to 2 times integral 0 to pi by 2 sin x by 1 plus cos square x dx. Now to evaluate now 2i is equal to 2 times of this integral. So cancelling 2 on both sides we get i is equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 sin x by 1 plus cos square x dx. Now to evaluate this substitute cos x is equal to t derivative of cos x is minus sin x dx is equal to dt. Yes. When x is equal to 0 for the lower limit, t is equal to cos 0 that is equal to 1. When x is equal to pi by 2 the upper limit, then t is equal to cos pi by 2 that is equal to 0. Now the integral 0 to pi by 2 now will be converted to integral 1 to 0. So this will be equal to integral 1 to 0 sin x dx is minus dt by 1 plus t square. Now this integral 1 to 0 is now reversed written as 0 to 1 then this minus will go off. Agreed. Agreed. That means integral 0 to 1 dt by 1 plus t square which is a very familiar function that is available that is here. The integration is very easy. The integral is tan inverse t to be, to be evaluated between the limits 0 to 1. Therefore, tan inverse of upper limit 1 minus tan inverse of the lower limit 0. And tan inverse of 1 is pi by 4. Tan inverse of 0 is 0. Therefore, the answer is pi by 4. Therefore, the given definite integral i is, is evaluated and we got the answer pi by 4. Let us look at our options. Our answer pi by 4 appears against option C. Therefore, the answer for this question is option C. That is the detailed discussion of the evaluation of a definite integral right? using the King's property. And uh, it is a easy question. And uh, questions using the King's property are appearing very often in the examination. Concentrate on these problems using the King's property. I am sure that you have understood the solution of this problem. And I wish you all the best. Thank you.